Hi, this is Angie from Angie Southern Kitchen, and today we're going to learn how to make a pie crust in a food processor. And um, this is a pie crust I really like. This needs three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, 13 tablespoons of butter, and three tablespoons of lard. And as you can see, I've cut it in cubes, and I have placed it in the freezer so that it's nice and cold. This gives you a tender, flaky pie crust. And then I use water. I use about six tablespoons of water. I do put ice in it so that it's ice cold too. And then I put it all in the Cuisinart and we'll show you how that works. And you make your pie crust in there. This is one teaspoon of salt. We're gonna put that in. And then I put my um, butter, 13 tablespoons, and three tablespoons of lard. It's really cold and we're gonna put it in the food processor. And I like to pulse it. Okay, you can see the butter in here. You don't want to chop up all of the butter. You want to maybe go a little bit more because that's what makes the flaky layers. So I'm gonna give it just a little bit more and then I'm gonna start adding my water. Today I had to add eight tablespoons, but I would start with six and see if it's where you need it. It depends on how humid it is outside where you live, how much water the flour has in it. But to me, when the dough, it, it still looks like sand, but you want it to look like that because that gives you all your flaky layers. But when it holds together like this, then that tells you that it's, it's, it's done. It's got enough water and it's been processed enough. And then at this point, I take it and I put it in two different containers and then put it in the refrigerator and let it rest. So I'm gonna divide this into two equal portions and let it, put it in the refrigerator and let it rest. After you roll your pie crust out, you can put it in a round pan, a square pan, or an oblong pan, whatever uh, you're gonna bake in there, fruit or chicken, and you put it in your pan, and then you cut the excess off, and in this recipe, there's enough for a top and a bottom or two separate pies. Again, this is Angie from Angie Southern Kitchen, and you just learned how to make a pie crust in a food processor. Mm -hmm.